Oh. Oh, what's in there? I gotta look. Ah, 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 what is it? Oh, it's an angry child. Spewing the, the juices of Satan at me. All right, we are here today checking out a little banger by the name of Last Floor. We are in Russia. We are living at the very top of a Skyrise building. Quarantined from everything going outside in the world. When suddenly, the aliens decide this is the perfect time to wipe out mankind. They are invading Mother Russia. And what we must do is we must leave quarantine. We must leave from the top floor all the way to the bottom to get out. Okay, so this is where it dumps us off to start off with. Press shift to turn on running mode. You got it. What am I running from? Oh, goodness, God, what the hell is this? I mean, I just started the game. You gotta, you gotta build yourself up to the alien threat. They can't just show up behind you. And why are all these doors bricked up? It's the light. I feel like I'm dying right now. I'm going into the white light. Oh, it was a dream. I used to read Word of Magazine. So let's pop open this door. I love what I've done with the place here. Feels like very homely. People live here. <laughs> this is a welcoming environment right here for us. So that's a bedroom. Entryway, we have ourselves a restroom over here, and apparently a battery. I just keep batteries randomly placed all over my bathroom while you don't do it. It's better to get the kettle on. Oh, this we could actually interact with. Okay, so I guess before we leave, we probably want to make ourselves some tea, some coffee. If I could just maneuver this thing properly. Ah, oh, jeez, Luis! What the hell is this, is correct? Russia? Russia? Do you, do you guys have... I don't know! Oh, kettles that go crazy by themselves. What are you, what are you doing? Okay, it, it's actually attacking. Can I just leave for now? Okay, look, you need to relax yourself. The door's glitching out. Okay. That's, uh... Oh! <laughs> These are the aliens. Okay. And imagine there'd be a lot more panic going on with, um, these alien crafts here just apparently floating next to a building. Okay, I'm gonna leave because my, my kettle wants to kill me. Um, let's... All right, there it is. Okay, unfortunately, there's no time for tea. There's only time for us to get to work or to escape, one or the other. Maybe my neighbors know something about this. Ding dong. Nobody here? Of course not. Veronica's probably already at work. <laughs> well, hopefully Veronica didn't um, run into a situation where a kettle tried to kill her in the morning. Okay, this we could pop open, apparently. No. This door seems to be locked. You're not wrong about that. Who is this little guy? You know what? That's actually the proper size that I would imagine these aliens would be if they actually came from that craft we saw outside. Mikalaiki has the keys and you to go to him. Mik Mikhalik. Mikalaiki. Well, I think either way that I pronounce it is probably incorrect, but I'm gonna go with Mikhalik. I like that one a lot more. Alright, well, before we try to... Yo, dude, I, I ain't ready. I ain't ready to deal with it. Oh, come on, bucko. Don't you want a balloon? Well, this one opened. Mikhailik, are you in here? I'm sorry for intruding on you, but my kettle tried to kill me and there's apparently alien crafts outside of our building trying to take over the world. Mikhailik, is that you over there? He's just hanging out. I mean, you'd imagine he'd be a lot more, like, you know, worried. <laughs> Will I have some vodka? I mean, I wouldn't be, uh, a born Russian if that's not the case, huh? Are you gonna offer me some or what? You want me to pour it for myself? Dog, give me the vodka. They they've been hanging out there since 5 a.m. Did you call the authorities maybe? Like get somebody in here, right? I nah, just been observing him for a while. Oh great. Mikhailik is turning into a boomer here. Ah, oh, what I tell you about that technology? It bring nothing but the fall of mankind. That it is right there. Thank you, Mikhailik. Are you gonna come along? No, you're fine. Like a true Russian, just basically sit in your apartment, drink vodka as the world. Yeah, yeah, whatever you said. Just sit at your apartment, drink vodka as apparently the world gets invaded by aliens. I mean, to be honest, which was not really a bad idea. I mean, what are you gonna do? You gonna go out there with your little pea shooter, attack the aliens? It seems like a lost cause, you know? I've seen Independence Day. I don't believe in that whole virus thing. Oh, let me go up to the mothership and infect them with a virus. No, that doesn't really work, man. 
Someone's wound the wire, there's no way to go. Why can't I just slip my ass through here? Why am I that huge or what? Come on, dog. It just takes a little bit of effort. Alright. Well, we're on the 12th floor. I guess we're starting at 13. Of course, we would start an unlucky 13, right? Okay, somebody just, uh... <laughs> yelled? Hold on, let me do something about my volume mixing here. Okay, hopefully it's a little bit better. The music seemed a little bit too powerful and the effects were a bit low. What the hell was that? So I, I hope that we kind of got this correct here. The balancing on the audio is really weird, like right off the default settings. So I heard somebody scream, there's a door that's mildly open. Partially open, mildly. Can you use mildly? Yeah, it's mildly open, right? It's <laughs> a good word for it. Mildly open door. I'm hearing like some strange crunching noises now. In case you're wondering, this is not me moving. Oh, mama. Oh, mama. No, that's a bad mama. What the hell is he doing trying to eat her? Oh. I need to find something to fight. Let me, let me move, dog. Oh, you closed the door. Good. Can I move now? I can move. Ah. Oh. How'd you get outside? You were inside. What the? I'm not sure if that's the hair dryer trying to kill me. How do I, how do I get this? Can we jump and attack? Okay. <laughs> I never thought I'd be fighting a hair dryer, but here we are. Hit it! Hit it! Hit it! Ah. Why won't you die? Okay. It finally perished. I think. Oh, now the door opened. Oh, so were you you were the one behind closing the door? I thought that was me trying to run away from you, but you suddenly showed up here. Okay. Well, um... I don't think that lady's alive. I think it was eating his face off. So before we go check her out... Let's, um, pillage the goods here, because that's what we're doing. We got apparently a balcony outside. Broken balcony. Fencing area. I'll be with you soon. I mean, you're dead anyway. It's not like you're going anywhere. There we go. First aid kit, good. Alien Sprelly. Still outside over there, roaming about. Let's see what we got here. Sorry for Anfisa. She was a beautiful girl, but not particularly smart. What's well, <laughs> kind of a heartless thing to say when somebody's over here dead. But, um, it does make you wonder what was Ansifa just doing here in your bathtub? In a, a micro bikini. I think we might have to go down through here or something, right? Because we can't take the elevators. Okay, that, that stumbled to its, well, I mean, it's an inanimate object, so it doesn't really have a life, but I guess that's telling us that we got to go down through here. Oh, God, this is going to be terrible. Oh, boy. <laughs> Where do we go? Here? Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, hoo, hoo, hoo. Now that is some peculiar platforming right there. Yeah, it seems like they basically, I mean, maybe Mikhailik wasn't so wrong after all. The aliens have taken over technology itself. Look at that lamp's going crazy over there. I'll take this battery, though. Ah. Oh no. TV, please don't. Ah. Oh, I'd better cover it with something before it, it kills me. Right. Um... I imagine it means kill, which is perish, and now the sound effects are too loud. Okay, um... Oh my god, look how much damage that did! Oh, you know what? You know what, I'll deal with the aliens instead. If you give me the chance between aliens and bugs, I'll take the aliens. I don't like the bugs. Okay, that did a ton of damage, dude. Anything, oh, here we go. I need to find something to cover that thing up with. I'm not even sure how we're supposed to get to it, because, like, there's such a small window of opportunity to run through there. Oh, we got, Oh, we probably gotta use this. The problem is that that thing shocks me again, I'm dead. Alright, look, let me do one more. I'm pretty sure one shock and I die, but we'll try anything in here, maybe? Alright, wait, there's another battery. By the way, what are these batteries for? It's a good question. There's nothing on me electronic, so maybe we'll find something eventually. Come here, Bucket. I need you to survive. Okay, look at what we're doing. I'm gonna... Toss you over there. Oh, God. Okay. Okay. Just... Now. Oh. Okay, so I guess maybe I could have probably snuck by if I had probably gone through here around. 
but I kind of took off from here, so okay. It's still a very small window of opportunity, but whatever. You live, you learn. Oh. There you go. Yeah, you seem fairly helpless now, don't you? You're such a killer machine. It looks like some kind of device, but it's hardly possible to pull it out. Oh no, it's you. Are you the one behind this? All right. Well, I mean, this is a terrible weapon, mind you. Let's go, scumbag. Let's go for it. We're doing the disappearing trick, are we? Am I getting close to treasure or what? <laughs> what is this sound? Another thing that's weird, I cannot interact with stuff if my weapon's out. So I can't be like, let me pop this door open while I have my weapon hit out. Now you gotta put one away. Do I really want to come in here? I feel like my brain's about to get fried. I'm gonna run across there first, mate. Oh, okay. Hmm. Well, it seems like it was one of those things, but whatever was in there is no longer in there. Oh, no. No, I've seen what you're capable of. But I'm so curious as to what's in here. Battery. Okay. I can't, I can't interact with that. Hopefully it's a good sign. You're oddly lit up. What are we... Ah! What the hell is that? It's strange that it shattered into two parts. I was pretty sure that there would be three. What? What does that even mean? What is this? AK Studio, the developer run? Thank you. Oh! Oh, you weren't kidding. Dude, something just- Yo, we got, like, flash aliens out here. What are you guys even doing? Oh god, where am I going? Okay, I see a door open over there. The problem is, I need to see if I'm gonna run, where am I gonna- Okay, there's an opening right next to us as well. Okay. Um, ugh. Okay, when do we go? I think we go when all three of them are over there congregating by themselves. Go, go, go back over there and congregate. Oh! It was- Close! Oh. You fooled me. <laughs> Luckily there was an opening here. The problem is that these elevators- Oh wait. Do they work now? I mean, I wouldn't really risk an elevator. These aliens are able to take over, like, you know, anything technological in our part. The elevator seems like a dead box, you know? Okay, hold up. There's a- there's a door open right there. Now, is it gonna be like one of those doors where I have to interact to open, or can you just go in? For this one, I think we gotta wait till all three go, right? Go! Go, 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 Ow! Ow! Get out of it! <sighs> okay. That probably could have gone a lot smoother. But yeah, it's like one of those freaking doors we gotta interact to open it, so... <laughs> even if I got around, we weren't able to do it. Let, let me close this and just say goodbye to you guys forever. Um... Not sure why there's blood on this stuffed teddy bear. What the hell is... Oh, I'm upside down! The floor mat. Yo. You guys are on some weird, crazy nonsense over here in Russia. You got upside down floors over here too, that's impressive. Oh my goodness, God, for real? Man, I've seen, I've seen some terrible gore death videos of stuff like this, man. People climbing the sides of building this way and it's like a terrible idea and you're looking at it, you're going like, why would you even put yourself in a situation like this? And they still do it. And a lot of them don't don't perish, luckily, but some of them do, and you know, it's it's a matter of time till something happens. And I'm over here doing it myself, but at least for me, it's like the aliens are here. I'm trying to escape. Okay, we we made it. Did, did the window disappear? Oh, it's all the way over there. Okay. Um, right. No, we want to continue going down. I'm gonna say. Oh, you see, that's where those crazy guys are at. Not that I want to open that, but it'd be nice to have a shortcut. I have to come back, but hey. Where are we at now? Floor 9. Oh, we made pretty good progress. We got like four floors down. Oh no, not a baby. Aliens, why would you do this? Oh no, I don't like it when you bring the babies into it. The babies are the worst things in these games. Oh. Oh, what's in there? I gotta look. Ah! Ah, what is it? Oh, it's an angry child. Spewing the, the juices of Satan at me. <laughs> what is happening? 
<laughs> I don't even know what time. Okay, we're out of time. I'm gonna wrap it up here for this one. This is the last floor. You know what? This feels very jank. I ain't gonna lie about that. But surprisingly good. Like, it's kind of like a good mixture of serious and humor that it's like, you know, I I'm compelled to keep playing this. So, not too bad. I'll catch you guys next time. Comrades.